if Secretary Mayorkas does not resign, House Republicans will investigate every order, every action, and every failure will determine whether we can begin impeachment inquiry. That was House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy making his message to the administration pretty clear during his visit to the Texas border. Now the Department of Homeland Security is responding, saying, quote, members of Congress can do better than point fingers at someone else. They should come to the table and work on solutions for our broken system and outdated laws, which have not been overhauled in over 40 years. Here to react, Tom Holman, Fox News contributor and retired acting ICE director. Tom, so the Republicans are making their red line very clear, and they want to host... Uh, uh, meetings at the border, sessions at the border, to make this a big issue. Do you think it's going to work? Well, I think the oversight hearings will definitely work. And look, guys like me who's been around for 35 years, we will tell them who to subpoena, what information you want requested in that subpoena, and where you can find that information. Because when they do oversight hearings, there's going to be a lot of damning information that comes out that's going to put Mayorkas in a very bad spot. And it's going to force him to resign. So I, I salute McCarthy for doing this. And, and I can't wait for it to begin because Mayorkas has violated the oath of office he's taken. And he, his, re, his actions on the border have failed. As you know, Lawrence, every month a record number. He Sorry. has failed for 18 months. Time for him to go. Well, Tom, I made this point on the five last night. The border is the scene of a crime. They, they need to see what happens there. Take them to the Big Ben sector where they can smell the bodies that are rotting. You know they're there, but you can't find them because they're all over the place. They need to see what these children that are drowning. How about they drain, drain uh, um, the Rio Grande so they can see how many bodies that are buried there? How about they go to one of those semi-trucks and stay in there for three minutes so they can see what they're encouraging the illegal migrants to do? Yeah, and I thought you were going to see a single Democrat congressman do that. They ran down to the border under President Trump when two children died. Now we got over 1,400 migrants that have died on U.S. soil. Where are they? Where's, where's Congressman Castro? Where's Cong uh, Congresswoman AOC, who went down there screaming on the Trump administration? They're ignoring the clear data. And if you look at the department statement they put out saying they're going to continue to support the workforce, Let's remember, he's not supporting the workforce. He took a federal law enforcement agency and turned them into a tourist agency because they're not enforcing law. The process of people, releasing people, taking them to an airport and flying them to a city of their choice. And not only that, he stood at the White House podium and slandered the men and women of the horse patrol when he knew they were innocent. He needs to go. He has no respect in the workforce. The workforce has no respect in him. It's unbelievable. Uh, Tom, another thing I wanted to get you uh, to react to, according to the Boston uh, Herald, the Biden administration is set to deploy air marshals to the border to help with migrants Wednesday. I mean, w what are they doing? Why do they need air marshals? He just said the border is secure, the border is closed. Why do you need more people down there? It, I'll tell you why they're sending more people down there, to process quicker and release quicker, because they don't want the optics of overcrowding. Because if they don't have overcrowding, there is not an issue. And Mayorkas can keep lying to the American people that the border is secure. He isn't sending one officer down there to enforce the law and secure the border. He's sending them there to process quicker, release quicker, so he can control the optics of this crisis. This is, this is, this is insulting to the American people. Again, needs to be impeached. I've called for it for over a year. I'm glad Congress is finally taking some action. We'll see what happens. Tom Holman, thanks so much, brother.